Jesse is so right. Once you have God in your life, everything changes. I think of what his life would have been if he had not met Jesus, if there had not been someone there in his point of me, need who said, we can take you to someone who can make a difference in your life. You know, that's Jesus. That's what he does for us. He comes in the middle of our impossible situations and he touches us with his power, with his love, with his healing. We wanna take some time to pray for you today. I know there are many of you who I hope were very encouraged by Jesse's story because if God had not touched him, it was impossible. I mean, there was no medical answer for him and maybe you're facing a dire situation in your life. We wanna lift you before the throne today. But first, here's another word of encouragement. This is Albert. He lives in Philadelphia, New York. He slipped and fell on ice. He had pain in his left hip for about six months, couldn't walk normally, even had trouble getting comfortable sitting. He was watching this program and Gordon, you were leading the prayer. And during that time, you prayed for overall healing. Albert also prayed for the healing of his hip. At the end of the prayer, he noticed the pain was gone. Albert believes he is just like Jesse, completely healed through the power of Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Uh, um, I believe it too, Albert. Yeah, that's wonderful. Here's Wendy, who is watching in New Zealand. Terry gave words of healing for two different conditions I was suffering from. One was an eye issue. She said that God was healing an eye issue that threatened blindness and it would go away and not come back. The other was a skin issue. She said it was humil a humiliating condition. I received both healings by faith. God has been faithful and both conditions have gone away. I am so grateful for his love and mercy. I just want to encourage everybody out there who needs healing. God is our Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals us. Have faith in God. That is what Jesus told his disciples. If you do not doubt in your heart, but believe, believe that what you have asked for will happen, you can say to the mountain, get up and move into the sea. These are the words of Jesus. You can count on them. Here's Jesse. He's being rejected everywhere he turns but he finally founds a, a place, a church, a body of believers who are the called out ones that said, yes, we love you, Jesse. Yes, you had a seizure, but come back. And faith works through love. Let's pray for you, Jesse. God wants to heal you. You can look at these things and say, why did this happen? Why did God allow this to happen? All of these things and say, Let's say, let the glory of the Lord be revealed in you. Can you say amen to that? Let the glory of the Lord be revealed in you. Stop the whys, the you know, winds and all of that right now. May the glory of the Lord be revealed in you. Let's pray believing that he wants to. He ever lives to do this. And let's pray, and God will do all the rest. Lord, we come to you. We come to you as little children believing that what Daddy has promised, he is able and faithful to deliver. So, Lord God Almighty, we love you. And we ask that your glory would come to us and be in us, and be in our bodies, and ev energize every single cell. Let everything be normal. Let everything be healed now. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. You come, you cast out all infirmity, all fear, all doubt and unbelief, let your spirit come and fill us to overflowing, for we ask it in Jesus' name.
Terry God's given you something. Yeah, there's someone named either Lisa or Alisa. You're praying for something you've asked God for. You've waited and waited. God wants you to know it's already in process. It's coming to you. And then someone named Katie. I'm not sure what you're praying for, but God has heard your cry, and he also is ready to move on your behalf. And a man named Carl, you have some physical issues. Uh, God is addressing those things for you today, right now, Carl. Lift up your hands and receive it and begin to thank him and pray. Him. Now, there's someone you've got a heart condition, and Carl, I don't know if this is for you or if it's for others watching right now. Hearts are meant to beat strong, and so we come against any weakness in that heart muscle right now. In the name of Jesus, strength, life, and energy for you in Jesus' name. Someone else, you've had a, a whiplash in, injury. It's really affected your, uh, the right side of your neck going down into your shoulder. God is healing you of that right now. He's restoring everything, speaking peace to every muscle, strength to every vertebra, all the things that connect everything be healed now in Jesus name. Yeah, that, I believe that word is for many, many, many people, the neck, the shoulders, the spine, different parts of your back. Just say yes, Jesus, I receive that and begin to thank him for it. Uh, someone with uh, severe pain in your right eye, God is healing that for you right now. And whether it's some kind of sinus problem or something uh, in the eye or with the tear duct, I don't know, but God does. And you know you're having pain right now in your right eye. Be gone now in Jesus' name. No more pain, no more suffering. Be delivered from it now. And Mary Ann, the thing you've asked for, the answer is yes, receive it from the Lord with gratitude today in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. If you've been healed, if you've been touched, let us know. And if you need prayer, let us know. It's our honor, our privilege to pray for you.